Today I want to talk a little bit more about range on the bass trombone. And when we talk about bass trombone range nowadays, we really have to say we should have a range from a pedal C to a high C. That's four octaves. That's very realistic. And um, I want to talk a little bit about that. I never could, and I still can't, play that entire range using one embouchure setting. It doesn't work for me. It may work for other people, but it doesn't work for me. So I want to show you what I do in order to help me through this entire range. I talked about this in my low embouchure video, that in the low range, I tend to push the jaw forward slightly, causing the angle of the instrument to raise, causing me to blow pretty straight into the mouthpiece. When I go into the high range, I do pretty much the opposite thing. The embouchure will, or the jaw will start to retract slightly, the angle of the horn will come down a bit, and that helps me get into the high range. If I were to play from B flat up to high B flat, it would look like this. too difficult as long as I follow this natural tendency to pivot the instrument, pivot the jaw back in. Now, one other thing I'm doing to help that along is I'm raising the back of the tongue. So my tongue is going from an A ah position into an E position. This makes it much easier to play into the high range. Um, once again, observe the angle of the, of the horn. You won't be able to see much going on in the mouth, obviously. But as long as I keep that space small, now I don't close the throat, but I want that space between my tongue and my hard palate to be, to be small. That makes it much easier. It's easier to drive a, a small nail, a finishing nail, into a piece of wood than it is a spike. And that's the basic idea. So um, this has helped me a great deal in developing this entire range. And uh, one thing I'd like to say is that I think you really have to balance this out. It's not enough just to have great low notes. You have to be able to play high. It's not required of us very often, but you should have a good high range on the bass trombone. No reason why you shouldn't. And um, for all the work that we do in the low range, and particularly these exercises that I've shown you where you're playing in the mid range using your low embouchure, you need to balance that out with some high playing. You need to balance that out with good mid-range playing because you don't want your embouchure to start getting totally confused, which can happen if, for example, you're playing in your mid-range using the low embouchure a lot. I'm just giving you an example. I'm playing with a pretty flat angle. The jaw is pushed out. The embouchure is more like this than the difference I'm exaggerating but that's what's happening if you practice that for extended periods of time um, you might get into some trouble so always balance this out always keep that good mid-range embouchure going work on your high range don't let the high range disappear yes bottom notes that's very very important for us we really need that um, but keep it all in balance and uh, don't overdo it with these, these uh, strange embouchures that I'm showing you. This is something I learned out of experience. Um, start with 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. Um, and I'm talking about these, these exercises where you'll play, for example, a scale all in one embouchure position. Don't overdo it. Don't start doing it for hours a day. Okay? So that's pretty much what I've got to say about range and low range and... Uh, I thank you for watching and I hope you can I hope it'll help you and you can do something with this.